I got to Chouinard, uh, it was the first time I was ever around people that making a drawing or making a painting or making an object was for real. You know, it wasn't just some kind of high school thing you did from three to four or something like that. You know, it was, it was a real act and people were serious about it. And uh, it was kind of this incredible relief to, to be suddenly find yourself around people that you, th you the most alien kind of things you really felt about yourself, you found out there was a whole bunch of other people that were kind of feeling that same way. And, uh, but it was, you know, it, it was always for me kind of the idea of either going, going out into a sound or out into a mark, you know. Uh, and <clears throat> because especially in LA in the 60s during that time, music was ever bit as volatile uh, an expression of, 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 of an artistic expression as uh, uh, making a painting or anything else. Probably because of the war, probably because of everything just collapsing and you know uh, going into everything kind of becoming part of something else. Draw, you know, I meant Rauschenberg working with the dancers. Uh, you know, all, all, it seemed like all of the labels were just collapsing, and uh, so it was a very exciting time to be around. You know, and nobody knew any rules like the galleries. They didn't really know what the rules for showing artists were. You know, museums didn't know how to, because people were doing stuff that they didn't have any, that they didn't go on the wall, they didn't go on the floor, that, you know, there was a hole in the ground or, you know, or whatever, or there was somebody performing something. <clears throat> and all of this, it's, it's, uh, talking about it now, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's all very, you know, ancient but at the time it was it, it, those things are very exciting uh, just the idea that you could get art supplies in a hardware store or in a stationary store or that you didn't go to the art store necessarily just to get art supplies everything suddenly was available I got it started school in 62 and got out in 66 so it was the early 60s and and well, it was really the whole 60s, I think. Everything was just, you know, kind of, especially in LA, you could still move on the freeway. You could, you know, you could get downtown in 15 minutes from the beach, you know. It, it's <laughs> that, you know, so it was a different world in, in that sense. Uh, <clears throat> and I remember when I got out of school, I didn't. Uh, well, before that, there was a very heavy emphasis on uh, abstract expressionist painting. The, the kind of these second generation abstract expressionists were teaching at Chouinard and had a huge impact on. Emerson Wolfer was, you know, uh, and Mike Konamitsu. These guys were teaching, <coughs> and so it's kind of like they were just because of that's what they were presenting to you all of the time, you assumed that's what making art was. And uh, uh, that, I, f I found that incredibly restrictive and in inhibiting me. And, uh, and I remember we had a gallery, a co-op gallery called Gallery 66, and just kind of as a reaction to the school. And <clears throat> we did three three-person shows and uh, the first show I did there, I remember I did everything I kind of thought I wasn't supposed to do. I did these drawings on, on paper with kind of cartoon images and tight kind of rendering, uh, what I thought was kind of tight rendering. But it was kind of just on purpose trying to not do anything abstract expressionist, you know. and. <clears throat> And then later, after I got out of school, um, I think I ran into that brick wall that everybody does after that first year. Uh, 
that seems to be the time when the, the biggest mortality rate happens with art schools especially because people f confront the reality that you have to make a living and whatever and, and you don't have a studio to go to, you don't have equipment to use, you don't have uh, peers really. You know? <clears throat> and uh, I, I ended up teaching in Watts, uh, right after the year after the Watts riots, I taught third grade for a, a year. But at the same time, I, I decided I've got to work. I had it been nearly a year, and I couldn't think of what to do as, as an artist. And uh, I said, well, if I don't know what to do, what I'll do is illustrate the Bible. And so I started doing these drawings uh, that were not really very biblical, but they were kind of thinking on, on that line and using that as a, a, a device to get into making some work. And that was the first body of, of, of actual work that I, that I made after I got out of school. That was the first show that I had was at Pasadena Museum with Joseph Cornell. It was all totally salon. It was one wall of my drawings in a very small gallery, but they were all just up there. It was such a relief to start drawing after trying to paint, which I never connected with, with that idea of having a big canvas and a lot of paint and you know, that physical act of, of painting. I, kind of put me off as far as uh, making images or whatever. And so when I started doing those drawings, I think that first little batch of drawings I did for Gallery 66 uh, inspired me to keep working on paper. And uh, also I, th I always thought on paper you, you had a lot more options. There was a lot more. You could stick things on it. But yeah, you know, it's, it's do the same with canvas, of course. But, but uh, um, I just had an affinity, more of a feeling for uh, working on paper at that time. Mm -hmm.